Hi, my name is Jürgen and I love open source software. Today I'm going to talk to you about Inkscape and how paths and nodes, how we can draw lines and how we can tweak them to adjust to, to our own uh, taste, to, to follow a curve, to uh, adopt um, yeah, the shape of, of something you drew. Well, I'm not the greatest artist, so I'm going to start from a great YouTube video. Um, a YouTube video that I found on the internet. So let's go to our YouTube site. So it's this nice uh, picture of how to draw a, a cute little kitten. It's from a uh, tabby cat face drawing art for kids. This is a, a great series on how to draw, but they're using a pencil and uh, a marker. So I'm going to use Inkscape. I'm going to draw the same kitten, but I'm not going to, to follow the the pencil procedure, I'm going to try to, to, to recreate it in Inkscape. So I took a screenshot, I pasted it in Inkscape. Okay, I'm going to put it in the middle of my page. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to go to my layers. I'm going to open my layer menu. It shows here. I'm going to call this one bitmap. I'm going to lock it, I'm going to add a new layer above it, and that's where I'm going to draw, okay? So first off, I'm going to make this one a little bit uh, washed out. It's easier to see what I'm drawing. And now we're going, getting some action. So first things first, this is like a kind of an ellipse shape, so I'll take three, first off, change my settings here. This is pretty invisible, so I'm going to give it uh, a different fill and stroke. I'm going to give it a stroke. Okay. Uh, of course, if in my layers, I'm still on the locked layer, so I'm going to the vector layer. Now I'm going to draw the ellipse. Okay, but it's a bit too thin, so I'm going to actually take a real nice thick stroke. I'm going to start from an ellipse, just about this size here. And now I'm going to convert this uh, path. I'm going to change the ellipse to a path. Why? Because if I want to change the ellipse now, I'm just going to ha uh, having the ellipse tools I don't want the ellipse tools, I want to add the edit the node buttons. So I'm going to change it to an object. And now I'll be able to, mo to move these down a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to change these node sh shapes. You see here you can change the node shapes. If you see, well, if you watch this small square here, it changes its shape depending on what kind of node you have. First off, you can have a sharp corner, you can have a smooth corner, a symmetric corner, or something auto smooth. I don't like to use auto smooth because it does, doesn't know what I want. Symmetric means that the two sides go together. This is something I kind of like for this one. So I'm going to take this for here too. So what, what happens now, if you, if you rotate it, of course, it goes a little bit askew. So I'm going to try to keep it as straight as possible. And now I'm going to move the nodes down a little bit just with my arrow. I'm going to move this node a little bit. I'm going to move this one up. And now I'm going to see how I... Oh, see, now this, this doesn't work anymore. So now I'm going to change it to asymmetric. And I'm going to didn't do it, so I'm going to select the node. I'm going to change it to asymmetric. And now I can change it. Same here. Change it to asymmetric. Okay, now looks like we're getting somewhere. Um, so this is the first thing. Now let's draw the nose. I'm I want to have a, ni a nice little triangle, so I'm going to use the polygon shape. Actually, I'm going to use 
a polygon with three corners. Of course, by default, it's five. I'm going to uh, put it down to three. And difficult part is it keeps rotating. So I'll tap my control button and it rotates per 15 degrees. Okay. So I have my basic shape now. I'm going to move it here a bit too big. Okay, so what's happening now, something I don't like, I see my, 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 my line width is also scaling, so I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna put it back to one millimeters here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Ooh, this doesn't look great. And now, again, if I want to edit the, the nodes here, it's not very helpful. So I'm going to path, object to path. And again, I'm gonna turn them into these kinds of shapes. But I'm gonna make them really tiny. Okay, so I like a cute little nose now. And here's a tricky part. I have two, the two cheeks of the of, of, of the kitten, and they have to be more or less the same. So this is kind of tricky. So I'm going to draw one. I'm just going to start with drawing some straight line, a straight line here, and I'm going to just pull them out. So what's important? This should be straight. So I'm going to straighten this out for sure. Connect my nodes. I'm gonna copy, uh, copy this shape, edit, copy. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit, paste the style. This means the line width, the line color, the fill. And this way it looks the same thick. So now I'm going to duplicate this, edit, duplicate. And I'm going to mirror it horizontally. So there's actually a button, I think, for that too. But actually, the, the quick the quick key is H for horizontal. Uh, path. Oh, where is the... Uh, edit. Let's see. There's this thing where if you use the keys too often, you just forget how to do it by hand. So if I type H for horizontal, it mirrors. Now I'm going to move it with my arrows. I'm going to zoom in and make sure these two align. I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to combine them. Combine or control K. And now I'm going to make turn this into one dot. Okay. And now it's just one line. And as you see, it's nice, nicely symmetric. Uh, if you draw it by hand, of course, it's not that symmetric. And if you prefer to have a little bit asymmetry too, you can all, of course always tweak it. It's what you prefer. Um, but you can start from something which is symmetrical and then add some human touch. So for the tongue too, I just like the fact that it's a little bit asymmetric, but I'm going to draw it here too. So oh, again, I'm going to paste style and the same look. And now I'm going to draw it. This again is a straight line. The tongue comes out here. And so we're going to do some a small trick now. We're just gonna fill it with, I'm going to use, use red for now. You see, it doesn't look very nice. So I'm gonna fill it with white. But what happened, the stroke 
I'm going to add some transparency so you can see it better. The stroke actually covered part of the pen. Oh, no, that's a stroke. I, if I go to the fill and I add some transparency, you see here, you see that that's the part, the half of the line is behind the fill and half is in front of it. So we're going to change that. If we go to stroke style, these icons here allow you to put the pen in the front or in the back. But we want it in front, so we're going to do it like this. Now I'm going to up that opacity again from the fill because we don't we don't want to see this line through it. We could also cut away the line, but this is for something. This is another topic. Um, next thing, we're going to draw the mustache, the whiskers. So click click enter so what happened now these two snapped together because by default snap snap to, to objects is uh, enabled so in here in this menu you have an option to enable snapping or disable it you can you can tweak this a little bit but I'm going to just disable it altogether now because it's annoying if they get together too much and delete this this one element here i'm going to redraw it draw to here okay don't worry about the fact that it's a straight line now because if we click on them with the uh, node tool you can just You see, you can change the shape a little bit. Click on them, and then just select select the whisker somewhere in the middle. And again, we will select them all and paste that uh, style again. So paste style. What you see here is next to the item, you can see the shortcut Shift Control V. This is one. I know by heart, so I just do shift control V and it's applied. So next thing we're, we're going to do is we're going to draw the ears. Uh, so we're drawing the ears. I'm going to use the Bezier tool. You, you could use a draw the freehand tool with a little bit uh, smoothing, but uh, I don't like this tool because it's quite difficult. I actually prefer to use the Bezier tool. What's a Bezier tool? So you just draw it. And then you add some curvature. You can tweak the, the nodes. I think it's quite intuitive. There, there's some mathematics be behind this, but I just say follow your guts. It will point itself. Point. Again, Shift Control V. And now comes this point where I will enable the snap option again, because now I want the next line to start in this corner here. You see, it says it goes to the cusp node, and now I'm going to do it like this. Enter. This is something we already have done a few times now. Shift Control V again, and we have the points for the, the one ear. Um, I'm going to copy these two. So uh, again, edit, duplicate, horizontal move, uh, copy and move it with the arrows. If you uh, hold shift, the arrow, the movement is, gets bigger. If you use alt, the movement gets really slow. Here again, you, you can, you can choose to To follow the symmetry, or you can say I'm going to follow the the, sh the shape of my drawing, because basically you are tweaking a hand drawing. And here you see it. 
So what's the, what's the issue? So if you zoom, it, it will snap as soon as you, ha you're, you, you have a certain distance on the screen. So it's not distance on the picture, it's distance on the screen. And now what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, if you compare on the layers, the cat with the vector, you see the ear is, uh, inter it's the line stops here and doesn't continue here either. So we, we're going to make this one object and we're going to cut it out here. So we're going to back to our bitmap now. So we're going to add some nodes. We're going to uh, double click here. We're going to double click here. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to double click here. And I'm going to double click here. So and now for all these dots, I'm going to break the node apart in two selected nodes. Now you don't see it, but th there are two nodes stuck together. I'm going to do the same for this point here. And now if I select, uh, let's see, if I select this middle part, let's say delete, and it's gone. You see? So I'm going to do the same here. Break it apart. Break the node apart. Delete the middle part. And now, we want to have this and this becoming one line. So we're going to select both of them. So this is this one and this one and this one. And we're going to combine them. So path combine. But if you look closely now, if you zoom in, you see they're a little bit separate. So I'm going to merge them and turn them into one node. Same here, join, turn into one node. So now we're starting to get somewhere. What happened, because we merged these things, the order changed. So we're going to do it back, send it back to the, ba to, to the back again. So we're going to, you can use these icons here to move it up or down, you see. And this means all the way to the back. So now we have the most important parts. Let's see if it's cute. Okay, we're still missing the eyes. So for the eyes, I'm going to start with an ellipse. Okay, I don't want this pie chart in there. I'm going to make it a complete nice ellipse. And again, I'm going to rotate it for something that I like. Okay, and now again, path, object to path. I think you're getting the picture already. Zoom in a little bit. No, I actually want this to be a symmetrical node for now. Make it really small. Maybe even tweak it a little bit so it looks more like the picture. Okay, so now I'm going to duplicate it again, edit duplicate, I'm going to shrink it, okay, and what happened, it didn't shrink because we have the node issue again, so I'm going to remove this one. If you notice that your lines are scaling, Make sure to turn off this option here because this is this prevents the line width from scaling too. And now I'm just going to edit the nodes, but not like that. Just move it a little bit. Okay, and we're going to move it one, once again. So Control D for duplicate, scale it down, tweak it a little bit.
and we're going to fill this one with black. Okay, so now we have the eyes, and you have this glow, but this one is different for the two sides because it's always on the right side. So for, for now, we're, we're going to keep this as the eye. We're going to group them, object, group. Why are we not going to combine them? Because if we, if we combine them, we will apply the same fill property to all three shapes and this one is filled and these are empty so we don't want to have so let's try it for now so if i just combine something gets messy so we're not going to do that undo zoom out a little bit select them all object group so now this is a nice group i'm going to duplicate it again edit duplicate i'm going to mirror it horizontally if i hold control I, I restrict the direction of my movement so I can only go up or down but I won't be able to to go in random directions this way I, I make sure that the two eyes are more or less symmetrical at least at the same height again I could tweak them if, if I would want to have them not really the same but for now I like it like that I'm gonna make this a white ellipse but again set my st stroke style to the background because my line width isn't okay okay I'm gonna duplicate it control to, to for horizontal restraint and yeah i kind of like it let's check it film stroke layers if i hide my bitmap okay seems like bec becoming a nice kitty cat so now the finishing touch these zigzag lines and this infill here so what i'm going to do for this infill is i'm going to actually create apply a trick here because this isn't really easy because actually we're, these lines are not combined so what am I going to do I'm, I'm going to use my draw tool I'm going, not going to go, go very smooth and I'm going to draw just outer curve I'm going to fill it with black I'm going to duplicate this control D so now let's check it oh, you see I have two of them I select it and I select the two so I have two items selected now you see and now I'm going to say uh, path intersection you see now I have this like cute little shape here this do the same uh, on this side I'm going to draw some black pencil. Okay, I'm going to fill it with black. I'm going to duplicate this, duplicate this one again. Control D, select both path intersection. I have uh, some cute, cute shadows here. And now for these, I could do something similar now here. Just draw like a curly curly lines like this. Mm -hmm. put them all black now I'm gonna add them together I'm gonna combine them path combine just to make it easy on myself so maybe look you, you could even like it like this but I'm gonna 
do the same trick again. So I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to select this one and this one. Path intersection. Okay, it works out. So here's my kitty cat. If I hide my bitmap, this is the cat I drew. Now, I don't like the tongue very much, so I could start tweaking it a little bit. Much better. I like it more like this. And voila. I hope this uh, small tutorial showed you how you can draw lines in different ways. It's a simple concept. I once again want to thank the people from the YouTube video because they gave me a really nice starting point. And uh, I'm not a great artist. I can't draw very well. I can, I'm just pretty much of a copycat, pun intended. Okay, have fun with Inkscape and uh, see you next time. Bye.